Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is a overview uh, video of the Vassal Module for Aces of Valor 2nd Edition by Berserker Games, designed by Eric von Rossing and uh, developed by Jan Horneck. Um, starting out on the first page, um, I only have two counters on here, you really only need these two counters and the uh, um, Objective counters on this page right here. I'll draw one of them out. Um, first thing you'll do is the your base. You're going to send it to an air base. Depending on which side you um, choose, it's going to A, B, or C base is going to send you the proper A, B, or C base on whatever side that you're playing. Um, and um, same thing for the flight. And what did I send that to? I think I sent that to B. Um, the flight also um, controls the campaign turn. So if I hit campaign turn on here, on the first turn, it's not going to do it. But it's going to send your mission card to the track mat and advance the turn, campaign turn one. Um, but as you see, we're still in campaign turn one because obviously you haven't played turn one yet. Uh, so the next uh, next campaign turn, however, you hit that it will update the campaign turn to the second um and these just discard back and we'll show where they go later fuel track is automated we'll just leave it here for now this the, the um, flight flight counter will tell you when you must land or have land um and um we set the fuel range say we have uh uh, Fokker E3s, it would be set at 23. That sets our fuel to 23. Um, I, uh, let's see here. Let's go down to that's basically it on the first page, except this does also have. You see now that you've got fuel in there, you can move this up, down, left, and right. This is important because we go to the, the campaign track and we move left, it's going to use up one of our fuel move down going to move up another fuel so all that's automated you don't really need to touch that piece although i let, left it so you can um move up move right and if we end the mission up here it's going to put that back down at zero and it's going to get rid of all the objective pieces you have out there that's it for the track mat and that uh counters um all your basic counters are right here. Some you may or may not lead. German counters, these are where the German and British counters, these are where you're going to use for your enemy. Um, you do not want to use them. In fact, I made it so you can't touch the ones up here for the uh, for the um, side that you didn't sign in as. Uh, so you just grab all of them out of here and put them on your, on your flight map as needed. Track mat, we basically went over that already. Your MPs, for the most part, are going to be tracked through counters, um, so you shouldn't need to worry about that. Uh, you may need to adjust once in a while for um, one of your cards. Uh, flight map. Flight map, uh, not a whole lot to this. Um, the combat rounds, again, if you... Um, next round, next round. And it's not going to let me go to round three because I don't have fuel. All right. That is does track fuel. Um, your your um, night visibility. Also, if it's night time, you'll put night in there. It'll go to here. Um, not a whole lot else. The rest of this is mostly drag and drop. Uh, let's go to your aircraft. These are the ones you'll use. I signed it as German, so I'll be able to use these. Go ahead and put them on to the um, to the flight map here. So, and actually, let me grab an enemy too, so I can show you. We'll grab a British FE two, um, so I can show you uh, the way BPs or or MPs are handled. <sighs> okay, um, we are Germans. Say I shoot down this FE two. I'm going to go down here and hit shot down. It's going to put two MPs in for me and get rid of the counter. If they shoot me down as a non-ace. Oops, that's the wrong one. 
Um, and I got to change that menu. Shot down MP loss. They're going to lose a piece. So they'll go down. This is the chart and tracker doesn't really give me a visual for less than zero. So put this counter right here because that goes down to minus. Oh, I think it's minus seven. You do worse than that. You don't deserve to play in the game. Even I can't be that bad. But um, And if we go, let's go back to the main page here. Put some fuel back into our, our counter. Uh, set fuel range at 23 again. We will now be able to go to combat round number three. And that's going to knock off two fuel for you automatically. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, should you lose an ace? Let's go back to German aircraft. Make that. And flight map. May get one E3 out here for that again. And... Um, well, we got to go to decks and aces and crew anyway. Here are your basic mission cards to start. These cards down here are the turn six on cards. So on, at the end of turn five, you'll want to add them into here and all your lady luck cards. The mission cards you won't need to draw. They'll be drawn for you using the uh, flight counter next turn. Lady luck you will have to draw on your own. Up here you have your seasoned veteran, etc., your named characters, and also your aces for each team or each side. Um, you can select them or you can draw randomly. Um, same up here. So if you had a seasoned and he gets shot down, both of these guys would, make sure I got my tracker up where you guys can see this, I had to fudge this just a little bit to get it to work correctly when an ace come out because we already have uh, the uh, base green green um, pilot losing a point. So if you get shot down, this is two, okay, yeah. Um, it'll either do two points. You see, it's shot down two right there, or we can. Um, Put him up to an ace, and we select him and see it's got a shot down three now. So we're going to shot down three, but that's only going to, and it didn't did not do that. Wonder why that was. Let me try that again. Hmm, that didn't work. Now I got to go fix something else. Oh boy, this is horrible. <clears throat> it will work. It did work before. Um. I just got to find out why it didn't work. The, the minus one works for the plane. This this is what happens. I wanted to change something and now it no longer works. So, yeah, it did. It worked. When they're, when they are, um, they only, you only get two points for them when they are seasoned. And um, when they are an ace, you get three points for them. Yeah, that's working. I don't know where I was going wrong. So, um, you'll want to delete the plane for the one point, and then the other two points for the aces or other point for the non-aces will be um, uh, removed when you remove the ace marker. And then that's going to put it back up here, and I just had them pushed off to the side. So, when you run out, you can just start recycling the names back through. Basically, that's it for that. The log... The log is all selectable. Um, you just select your mission, artillery spotting. The, the um, I got all this off of the BB, BGG, and all the actually it's all this um, and BGG pictures. Is you put a mission, say Manfred seasoned, and he is participating. He gets sent to the hospital, and he got a kill. They're just going to go ahead and put that all in. It's all tracked for you there. The only thing I had trouble with is if you're already like seasoned or veteran and you get upgraded. Uh, but you'll be able to see that by going out as seasoned or one mission and veteran on the next. So I didn't worry too much about that. MPs were just entering numbers in down and all these other hexes down here. Or hexes squares down here. And that's all the way across. I don't have any automation in here for the math. you got to do that on your own. But... Um, that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, end mission. When you're done a mission, completely done a mission, you want to hit end mission up here and on your track mat, no, your flight mat, you want to hit clean up up here. That'll get rid of all the non-essential 
parts on the game board. It'll reset these. All your components will stay up here, though. So if you had, say, your you had all your E3s out here and you hit the cleanup right here, they stay out there, as will your named pilots. So um, basically, that's it in a nutshell. This, the charts, they will not be in there, so I'm not even going to go through that. That's just my extension. Uh, when I load this game in, uh, you'll see that I load an extension in right there. That's just for me. Actually, I sent it to the designer, in this case, the designer and developer too, but other than that, it goes nowhere. So basically, that's it. Um, Jan and um, Eric have given the approval to put this up. I'm just making sure I don't have many mistakes. I keep finding things. I'll adjust one thing, and the dominoes will fall, and i got to find all the dominoes that fell again. So um, it should be released, I'd say, within a week. Uh, so thank you very much. This is uh, Aces of Valor, second edition by Berserker Games, designed by Eric von Rossing, and developed by Jan Hornet Hornick. I want to say Hornacek. Sorry about that. You guys all have a good night, and thanks for joining me.